Hello guys, this is Abhijit, uh, aka Silver Fox. Hey. I'm a developer and an entrepreneur. Uh, I run a web agency and few other stuffs. So I started my career as a freelancer and which is why I want to contribute something back to the freelancing community or as the developer community. Uh, that's the starting of this uh, Silver Fox tutorials program or as the YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you how you can test your web applications using OAuth 2 on localhost with HTTP or SSL connection because th this is quite annoying. Many OAuth implementation doesn't uh, allow non HTTPS redirects URL uh, for localhost or uh, 127.0.0.1. Using a random HTTP HTTPS URL as a redirect doesn't really work because then we have to manually grab the parameters to decode them or else use some third party platforms where uh, you redirect the callback URL to that particular website and they will uh, they, they will forward you all the set of data that it receives from the callback URL so that doesn't really help because you are re relying on some third party resource for that matter just for the development sake if you have uh, implemented Google authentication system or also Google web login recently and po hosted your website live, you might have seen this screen which says app is not verified because it doesn't uh, comply to the Google guidelines. And as per the Google guidelines or as Facebook, they request the developer or as the customers to use SSL connection. Let's open up terminal and let's just create a normal uh, HTML page where we uh, kind of uh, make our Google login button that accepts or um, basically interact with the Google sign in uh, SDK. Right. I'll have a sample code, sam code uh, which I'll post in my blog as well. So you can just copy the code piece from there. And I'll also put the link of that particular blog to in, in, in the description of this video. So this is the code. Let's create a local server using the PHP command or else you can use ZAM, uh, WAM, MAM, whichever you prefer. So this is the local URL that I got and the port is 8000. Okay, uh, let's go to this. So here you get to see the sign in button, right? Now we need to change the app or client ID. I'll open new tab and access the page. Okay, so you need to change this the client ID. This is dummy one, right? For that, what you can do is go to console dot uh, console or uh, Google API console. In case if you don't have a project, just create one and uh, come to this credential page. Create a new credential that would be client ID, auth client ID. Once you're here, okay, they will ask you to go for consent screen. Just enter the ones which server is required. Not this. Yes. Uh, name of the project and privacy policy. Privacy policy you can give any URL which is a valid one and works. So it gives 200 uh, status code instead of 400 or 500. Okay. Now click on web application. I'll give it a name in case if you want. And we need the URL. Okay. Before that, let's. Um, Let's do this. Let's get the client ID first, and then we'll change all add the origin URIs and authorized URIs. This is redirect to URIs. Replace the uh, dummy text with your client ID that we just copied. save done so if you do that if, if you run it, it it will work but it's not using HTTPS right our main intention is to run this particular project under HTTPS and see if it works or not okay now let's download um, ngrock and what it will do is it will create a secure connection here on uh, to to your let's say local host server, right? How we, uh, this is an example that they have shown here. Just download. 
once the file is downloaded uh, unzip it to whichever folder or directory you want and I already have it downloaded so you can see the file executable file there ngrock okay and now let's go let's open up terminal and we will run that ngrock command right and we you we have created a local host which has this port 8000 right so what we will do is we will just navigate to the path where we can find our executable ngrock file and use this http command and the port number that we have no it this one okay okay so it's running and here you get to see a non http connection a non ssl and the ssl connection and this is the wave interface where you can check all the status and all the set of stuffs i'll show you right now okay let's use chrome let's navigate to that particular url so here they will show you these are the urls provided ssl and non ssl and uh, yeah that's right now if you go back to this here you get to see the status like all the hits and everything so it's good for in case you want to do AP testing and it's other set of configuration you get to see that okay now let's try out this URL okay, so it's working fine let's copy it and paste it in our uh, uh, or the client so we, this URI is a valid one so it's just, uh, put it in the origin and I will put it as a redirect URI. Okay, that's done. Let's see if it works. Use that URI. Oh, we'll inspect because the script just paste everything on the console. There you go so all the details you get if you found the video or uh, video content informative and helpful enough uh, please do subscribe my channel like and share the videos whichever you prefer the most uh, so that that will encourage me to uh, make more videos on these sort of uh, topics